February 14th, 2019. Valentine's Day. Most people refer to it as the Valentine's Day Massacre. As for me, I call it Graduation Day. 30,000 chickens massacred all in a matter of a couple hours. And next thing I know, Kennedy's on the phone. Here's what he says. Hey, go get those chickens. Regardless to the situation, I couldn't refuse. Me and the rest of the SEAL team, also known as me and Abram, we headed out on our journey. Our main goal was to rescue as many POW chickens as possible before the Korea Vietnamese army could get a gain on us. But enough of the backstory. Here we are, boys. Let's go. Come on, soldier, you're with me. Let's go, let's go, go, go. Go, go. Move, move. We gotta get up the bay. We gotta get up the bay. There's too many of them. I know, but that's who. Listen, buddy. We got chickens to save. No! Stay with me! He was a rock! Let's go! Oh, okay. A bullet hit just in front of me and busted a gravel on But that's not stopping him! Get down! Get down! Okay, guys. Here's the situation. There's a ton of them, man, but there's still a lot of chickens that can be saved. We're not done here yet, but... We fought hard! But listen, guys, we're not done. We still got a lot of ground to cover. We still got about two nautical miles, and we'll be there to the stronghold. We didn't lose any of our men yet. Let's get up there. Let's do this. Hold. 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 Let it rip! Go, 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 go! Guys, I'll be honest. I don't know where Kendall is. He dropped the camera. I don't know if he was taken out or, or what. We're adding Kendall to the rescue list. What was that? Through the trees! I got a positive ID on the chickens. They're not too far from us, but uh, I don't know. They're pretty heavily protected. can see them, but I don't know. I think it's now or never. It's time to get to work, boys. Let's get in there and do what we've been made of. Or do what we're made of, yeah. And so there we was. Just sitting there waiting on the chickens. We decided the time was now. And so that's exactly what we did. We charged them full force, guns blazing. Not a care in the world for our lives. All we wanted was to save those chickens. And unfortunately, we paid for it with our lives. Actually, I think we made it out there alive. Uh, yeah, 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 that's exactly what we did. We made it out alive, never mind. Get up, get the chicken, get out of here. Let's go, 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 go. go. And so there we was, safely back in the U.S. with all of our chickens on board. Except for the other 29,998 that were massacred that day by the Vietnamese. And so I guess that's where our story ends. No, you, you can't say that's where it ends because the war on predation has just begun. We may have won this battle. But the war on predation is far from over. Oh, yeah. Okay, so like, long story short, if you don't know, I actually had an actual chicken massacre. And instead of the Vietnamese, it was Peanut. But if you're not aware, what happened is that I originally had six chickens. Peanut, my dog, came out here and killed three of them. Then I only had three left. So I went and actually got these by rescuing them from the Vietnamese. So, yeah, that's basically how it happened. But I'm going to go ahead and release these two. I was told that one is a rooster and one was a hen. That one's definitely a rooster. And I'm kind of thinking that this second one is a rooster too. And I don't know. I mean, if it's a rooster, it's a really weak looking rooster. Or maybe it's a, maybe it's a hen. It's a really strong hen. Okay, never mind. The white one is definitely a rooster. Oh, now they're fine. What about that? Well, I guess it doesn't matter too much. If that one is for certain a rooster, which I definitely think he is by the activities he just took his action in, I think we'll just eat him. No big deal. Chicken strips. But now let's unarm ourselves. Now let's go check in on these chickens. How's everybody doing? That's the new one. That's the new one. I think we got two roosters. 
And then we got hen, hen, hen. Honestly, I think that one will die in about a week or so. I'm getting kind of hungry. And I'm not here to listen to a bunch of roosters crow at each other. I think we'll end up keeping the big red rooster because he resembles Cluck Norris the most. As for actual egg production, we've only had three hens in here for about two weeks. Egg production seems to be pretty good with the rest of the fam gone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen eggs out of three chickens? They've been laying solid for about five days. And that's no kidding. They've been laying one every single day. These hens have been killing it, yo. These are the chickens I need to raise chicks off. Give me some. Okay, cool. Okay, right now what we're going to do, we're going to be doing something that you have never seen on this channel ever. It's so different that I don't even know. You may go crazy and you may have to drink a water bottle after this one. We're going to be feeding my dogs crackers. Now, that sounds like the most boringest thing in the world because it very well may be. But I watched a video of this one dog. Someone fed it a cracker and it was just like so weird. It was so different, but it was really cool. So first we're heading over here to Peanut. Then we'll go over there to Sheba. I already know what Sheba's gonna do. She's just gonna take it and run off. But Peanut, he can't run off. So let's sit down for a second. Get some serious ASMR action of Peanut eating a cracker. Okay, Peanut, here you go. Eat it. Eat it. Oh. Eat it, Peanut. Oh. Uh oh. Peanut, eat the cracker. What are you doing? You're making me look bad. Eat the cracker. Peanut. I told them this would be entertaining. Eat the cracker. Peanut, eat the cracker. What are you doing? Peanut. Peanut. Eat the cracker. Goodness. Eat it. Ah, oh, there we go. That's kind of cool. Here, Peanut. Up close and personal with Peanut. You can have it. Peanut, what are you doing? Peanut, eat the cracker. Peanut, eat the cra eat this cracker. Peanut, what are you doing? Eat this cracker. Peanut, hey, eat my cracker. Hey, hey. See? You hear that? That's the best part right here. Here you go. You want another cracker? Peanut, no, don't run away. Uh-oh, what's that move? That's a power move. He's trying to show his dominance. Okay, guys, I told you that this would be cool, and it's, it's, it's really not cool. I'm sorry if you're not liking this. If you're really not liking this, I'm truly sorry. Here you go, Peanut. I guess it, it's kind of... If you like dogs, this should be really interesting. I mean, we're feeding him crackers and rubbing his belly. Ain't that right? Exactly what Peanut lives for. Here you go, Peanut. Peanut want a cracker? Peanut, eat my cracker. Peanut. Eat my cracker. Peanut. Okay, now he's running away. Oh, he's choking on it. He's choking on the cracker. Show that cracker who's boss, Peanut. Show who's boss. Hey, Sheba, I got a cracker for you. Sheba, Sheba, come here. I got a cracker. Sheba, come here. Sheba, 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 Sheba. Uh, she's probably the laziest dog I've ever seen in my life. Test one. I give her the cracker, and she's going to run away. Okay, I gave her the cracker. Okay, close enough. She didn't necessarily run away. She just waddled. That's good enough, I guess. <laughs> okay, Grey Gang, since we started the video in here with the chickens, we're going to go ahead and end it here with the verse of the week as well. Now, this week's verse of the week is coming out of Philippians 4. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. Now, the biggest part of that verse is right there in the beginning. Do not be anxious about anything, and then later it talks about prayer. Therefore, what it's wanting you to do is to stop being anxious so much, and instead of being anxious, pray to God and let Him take care of the situation situations that you are being anxious over. Prayer is like the remedy for anxiousness. And here's the best part. Whenever you do let God handle those things that you're being anxious over, he loves that. Like, he loves that you have enough faith in him that you actually let him take care of your problem. And trust me, guys, he's more than happy to do so. Now, usually I'd end the video right here, but as I was standing in the chicken coop, you know, just looking around doing the verse of the week, I noticed this. Like, bro, what in the world is this? The fence is perfect and everything, and perfect this way, except for right here. Are you guys seeing that? Like, I'll get you a little bit better view, but... Like, straight up, this corner has been bent down by something. Now, I don't know if it's been a coon or anything, because I don't have any chickens missing at the moment. But something has definitely either came in, or went out, and then came back in. I'm not sure, though. I'm just gonna...
bend this back up here and hope that it doesn't happen again. I don't know. If stuff like that continues to happen, that could be a potential disaster. Another one. But yeah, guys, if that right there wasn't just a chicken jumping out and jumping back in, we may have some problems here in a little bit, not gonna lie. But anyways, guys, if you want to support the channel, buy some merch, kindlegrade1.com slash shop. You can pick up some t-shirts, a fanny pack right now. I've actually got a fanny pack with all those eggs in there. They've even laid a few more since we last checked them. But you can pick up a fanny pack. We've got scopes and stuff on there. We got knives on there. Anything that you would maybe want, there's a pretty good chance we got it up on the website. And just remember guys, whenever you make any purchase on there, it goes to helping me come out here and make videos for you guys each and every three days a week. But anyways, Grey Gang, I will see you Monday. Enjoyed the video because I know I did. If you want some sick looking merch, link in the description. Uh, like and subscribe down below. Hashtag Jesus. Hashtag Grey Gang. I'm out.